Would you like to able to stay under the water for a very long time by breathing and breathing? I would like us to think a little about this seemingly simple question. Although, I think this is one of the important questions that can be asked during this period in which we are living in which there have been attempts to live for long periods of time even in space. This is an issue that few people are focusing on. The world we live in is largely covered with water. Moreover, there is a possibility that it will increasingly turn into a water wall. Global climate change will lead to the melting of ice at the poles and sea level rise in the world. It is calculated that by 2100, the average temperature will rise by 3.2 degrees. And the leaves of close to 3 billion people living, especially on the coastlines, will be affected. Some consider the main reason for going to other planets and establishing colonies to be a backup plan against this inventability course. But maybe what we are running from can be our salvation. It is something that's not on any of the satellites, planets, that are offered as a backup plan. Oceans that look like another planet inside our planet that we haven't fully explored yet. We may need to live a more intertwined life with them in the future. For this, it is also necessary to stay under the water for a long time. We need technologies that will make it easier for us to stay. We invented astronaut suits because we can't breathe in space. We also have diving suits to stay under the seas. But this are hard to use and will keep the clutters. In addition, you can say stay underwater for a limited time depending on the capacity of the oxygen science sliders. In recent years, a new tool has been invented that offs used to stay underwater for an unlimited period of time. This device called Exalon, which weighs 3.5 kg and works only with body power, allows you to dive up to 5 meters. The principle of operation is very simple. When you stretch your legs, the inside of the tube empties and fills with the bread you give. At this time, fresh air is drawn out with a hose extending to the surface of water. When you pull your legs in, this fresh air is sent off the tube your nose. Compressor, battery, motor, without anything. You are just breathing and breathing underwater with body movements. In order to use it, a special diving license is not needed but it is necessary to have a short training. In order to really stay underwater without being tied to the top of the water, a different solution is needed, a biomimetic solution. It means that people look at the nature to solve complex problems. They imitate its systems, modus biomimetics. Do you want to live underwater? Say the animals that can live there and find out how they can survive. There are some mammals that can live under the sea. For example, whales and dolphins. But these giant sea creatures are mammals, as I said, so they look more like people than fish. Because they breathe and breathe like us. They get the oxygen they need not from water, but from the air. Their ability to live at sea is ensured by the fact that they can hold their breath underwater for a very long time. Do not confuse them with fish. For example, a shark receives oxygen from water, not air. Not with his lungs, but with its gills. And can we humans do this? According to Japanese biometric designer Jun Kamei, yes we can. He is designing a special garment called Amphibio, which can be printed with 3D printers and can act as a kind of gill. He says that he made this design with the vision that people who will have to live in the water in the future will able to live comfortably under the water as well as their time on land. They were inspired by insects that can dive into the water while doing so. The hydrophobic membrane works by replenishing the oxygen in the water surrounding it and dispersing the carbon dioxide accumulate in the system. A working prototype of this outfit was also produced, inside of which there were pores and hollows. The sensor measures the amount of oxygen. The sensor measures the amount of oxygen replenishment that occurs in the water around the garment. This gill, which has a flexible structure, changes shape when air enters the system inside the garment. An increase in this can be seen when the amount of oxygen transported from the water into the mask is measured. 
In this experiment, the oxygen supply ratio was determined as 0.19 liter for a one secure meter of water surface. For typical oxygen consumption of a person, 32 secure meters are required. In order to fit such a large surface into a small piece of clothing, 3D printers were used. The designer had positioned it somewhere between decoupage and scuba diving, considering the amount of oxygen, pressure, and light in the water. It is predicted that up to 10 meters deep this garment can be kept underwater for long periods of time. The amphibian suit I just told you about is a slightly older idea. I pass it in order to look at the issue from a design perspective. Well, please indicate in the comments what you think about life underwater. I want to finish the video with these words. Unfortunately, we know what people do when they enter an explored part of nature. However, if we can learn to be more merciful and more respectful of nature, the creatures in it and each other, it is well with the Sophia's and increase for all of us. Do not forget to subscribe and like it. Stay healthy.